Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Advanced Machinery. We've got a few more tutorials here to do. Now, in this episode, I wanted to show you how to process sand. Uh, we're, we were processing gravel before here. As you can see, um, again, we've got that same problem we've had before where it's not... Oh, I'm in a survival. There we go. Yeah, for some reason this quits working. I'm not sure why. But we're processing gravel here. But I did want to show you what we get when we process sand, which is another resource that we can utilize. It gives us a little bit different uh, items when we process sand. And then there's the matter converter, which will give you netherrack for cobble and soil sand or sand. Now let's look at the uh, recipes here. Now we, we've looked at the at the crusher before but that's the crusher. Cobble generator we've looked at that one already and then this is the uh, converter, matter converter and it's just three blocks of gold with uh, four blocks of iron. At this point, you're going to have a ton of resources, so I'm going to switch back back to a creative here. Yeah, at this point, you're going to have a ton of resources, so that's not going to be any big deal about, you know, building that. Let's see. Uh, crusher. There we go. Uh, I'm probably not going to rebuild these because... Um, they all follow the same format, and you've seen me build a bunch of these things already. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to rebuild them, but we'll just go over them here. Now, processing sand. Okay, let's let's back up a little bit here. On uh, this one, we use the advanced uh, conveyor belt to uh, make sure that it it's we, we're processing the gravel because what happens is the the normal conveyor belt, it runs slow enough that the uh, gravel, the cobblestone gets converted into gravel, but then the gravel gets converted into sand over the crusher. So you only need to use one crusher and a normal conveyor belt. And what I did is I stuck an extra conveyor belt in here. You don't need this. This isn't necessary. But I wanted to just highlight the fact that we actually are getting sand here. And then we're going through the auto sieve and we're generating resources. Now, the amethyst shard is the new item that you'll get when you process sand. And this is used in various recipes. I think like tin and glass uses it and the, uh, the spyglass uses it, I believe. So this is used in various recipes. So you get it from auto sieving sand. So what you could do is replace this system with this system because you're going to get all the same resources, I do believe. Is there anything different in here? Uh, ignore the cobblestone because that's where it wasn't. Where. Oh, I take that back. I think, yeah, the gravel, you get copper. And I don't think you get copper from, from the sand. Yeah, I don't think you get copper. So you'll need the... You'll need gravel and the sand both in order to collect all the resources. So that's how you process sand. You just, it's this system here, but you're using a regular conveyor belt rather than the advanced conveyor belt. The advanced conveyor belt just shoots it across faster. But the regular conveyor belt, the normal conveyor belt is slow enough that it will go from gravel, grow from cobblestone to gravel, from gravel to sand. Now these uh, matter converters, do just basically what what uh, what I've already mentioned. It takes the sand and converts it into to soil sand, as you can see it there. It's a good way to get soil sand if you can't go to the Never, especially, or even if you can go to the Nether, it's still a good good way to get a resource. And then this gives you Netherrack. Now I'm not sure if there's anything else that you can get out of. Uh, out of there. Let's see. 
See, cobblestone doesn't give you anything. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Cobblestone gives you uh, nether rack. And I do believe the the sands. I'm I'm sorry, gravel. Uh, there's gravel. It it doesn't give you anything. See, there's nothing, nothing there. Uh, I did try dirt though. Let's see if dirt gives you anything. No, it doesn't look like it. So basically, the meta converter converts cobblestone to netherrack and sand to uh, soul sand. Now, of course, I wonder if soul sand can be converted over to soul soil. Let's see. I uh, can't reach it from there. No, it doesn't look like it. So if you want soul soil, you're still going to have to go to the nether, it looks like. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a, a way of getting soul soil or not. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and, and showcase these. I, I mean, it's, these, these systems are extremely simple. There's, there's hardly anything to them. Now, again, I'm using the, the combustion generators here to generate extra power. And you could add those to any of these, well, to this system here. Couldn't add it to those because it makes no sense because you need coal. But this will generate coal, I do believe, right? Yeah, we get coal out of it. So you could add the combustion generators to this as well to just generate extra power while you're generating um, your resources. So we have, uh, so we've covered, oops. So we have the sand and then the matter converter, which converts over to nether rack and soul sand. So I think that pretty much covers all of the different uh, resource generators that that we have. Uh, we, now we've got a bunch of the, uh, well, there's the bio generator, for example. Um, there's the uh, water wheel. Well, I think probably next, next uh, episode we'll talk about some of these extra ones. I, they're not really, I don't really feel that they're that useful. Once you get this system set up, and this isn't hard to set up either. Once you get this system set up, I mean, you're getting tons and, and you supplement it with your combustion generators. I mean, we're, we're still generating tons and tons of, of resources. Now it's gone down a little bit. We were running at a steady 93,000, but we're still at uh, 63,000. And if we added the combustion genera generators to this guy here, we'd still be generating probably close to the 93. So we're not in any way uh, running out of power. That's for sure. But the solution to that is just to expand this unit out. I mean, just put another couple lava generators and a couple more of the uh, stone barrels to generate the lava. And you're good to go. So, yeah, I don't really think these other generators are useful. Now, there is one generator that is produces a ton of power, and that's the G Dragon Generator, which is, which one? Uh, the Dragon Generator here. And basically what you do is you put, once you defeat the Ender Dragon, you put the Dragon Egg on top of, on top of this one. And um, it generates, as it says, 60 RF per second. So that's a good one. But you need to kill the Dragon first. And once you kill the Dragon, you'll be able to do that. And that's a good one. You just plop that down and put the Dragon Egg on top of it. And you've got a, a solid 60 uh, RF per tick. Well, we are going down a little bit here, so let's, uh, whoops, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and fix the 
Let's see, let's get rid of some of that. Just get us get us some room here. Uh, we don't need that. Don't need that. So what we need to do is we need to expand this out. So let's give us a uh, another lava generator and another barrel. So what we'll do, we'll just add two more here. We'll, we'll just add two more and see what that does for us. And we'll get our, so there, 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 and there. That makes the loop. And we'll throw another bucket in there too. Oh, see, I didn't do that right, did I? There we go. Gotta make that loop. Oh, I still didn't do it, do it right. <laughs> uh, so I tell you, that's the confusing part about this, getting this loop done right. There we go. All right. And let's get a... Uh, Let's throw another bucket in there. Let's see what we get here. Look how high those buckets just fly, fly up in the sky. That's why you need these glass around here because otherwise it just that'll fly all over the place. Okay, so how are we doing here? Forty-eight. I always do that. How much do those... Uh... Oh, they're a hundred. No wonder. Okay, so... Yeah, no wonder their uh, wow. our power is going down. Seven. Forty-seven. So okay. So we're. I think we've stabilized at about forty-seven here. Which still we got an excess. So we're. I think we're in good shape. Yeah. Mm. All right. We're going to need to up this though, and and work on this a little bit. Give us some, of course, we can always add the other generators too, you know, and and we'll talk about those when we get to the uh, uh, next episode. We'll talk about these other generators, like the water wheel, the solar generators are good to get. Uh, the advanced gives us 10. I think there's three of them. No, just two. So that one's four and this one's 10. 
Well, I can't look at the recipe on it, but that'll give us 10. So we'll talk about these different generators next episode. But I think we're... Yeah, I think we're doing all right. We've stabilized pretty much. It's not going down anymore. That's good. And uh, I'll have to give a think about maybe figuring out a way to optimize this a little better. I think if we add more barrels on this one side here. Yeah, if we add more barrels, I think that'll... Uh, on the one side so that we've generated more lava. I don't know that we need any more lava generators, but we might wow. need more barrels to to generate lava for us uh, in a little better, in a little faster manner. I'll mess around with that and see what I can come up with and see if we can optimize that a little bit wow. better. I think, yeah, we'll need to, uh, need to look at this uh, because these guys, so this is 200 RF per tip per second on both of these. So that's quite a bit of power. Yeah, I didn't realize they were so so power hungry. And we still are going down a little bit. So yeah, we'll need to we'll need to work on that. And we'll look at the other generators as well. But I think I can uh fix this so that we're generating a, a good a lot more consistent power because we've got two generators here that aren't doing anything. So we don't have enough lava being generated and and lava generation is super, super cheap. I mean, it's just stone barrels, which are just stone. Um, that's it right there. It's just cobblestone. That's all it is. So, uh, yeah, it's super cheap to make. So, all righty. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I appreciate everyone watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.